gut mit dem Tempo. Komm hin, komm hin, komm hin. Let's go. How was your trip? Uh, very good. Fine. Oh, that's cool. And why did you choose to, to study right here in Mexico? Well, uh, I think the Mexican culture is kind of interesting and I want to write my thesis about it. Oh, that's cool. Well, I, I hope you find it funny to be here. Thank you. Uh, Mexican culture is, is good. Yeah. It's very diverse. Exactly. How is life in France? It is very beautiful. We have very beautiful forests and castles. Hey, let me know why exactly did you choose to study anthropology right here in Mexico? Uh, well, my, my parents are Mexicans. Oh, so you're like a French Chicano? I don't like to be compared with Americans. Hey bro, can I help you to carry on upstairs your stuff? Yes, please. Okay. Don't worry, I will help him. Okay. Hey bro, do you want to drink some water? Uh, yes. Hey, by the way, don't you want some tacos? Oh, I guess not. No, I guess not. Okay, I do. Let's eat some tacos. You seem, a, you seem a little bit tired. You can sleep on the bed if you want. Uh, no, thanks. I am going to take notes outside. Okay, don't worry. Excuse me. The anatomy of Mexicans is a mix-up of different races, natives, Africans, and Europeans. I'm interested on the ancient culture of Mexico, such as the Mayas. I would like to visit Chichen Itza. I've noticed the influence of the USA in the Mexican culture. According to the evolutionism, Mexico is in the stage of civilization. The history is very important for Mexican people. It has built their identity. Alan told me about a festival, Carnaval. He said it was very useful because of the tourism and business. I once read a book of Sigmund Freud and I've noticed that personality plays an important role in their culture. Mexico has a lot of biodiversity and it has impacted the south of Mexicans. Such as in France, there is a strong feeling of fraternity because despite their age, they are very responsible and kind. Sometimes also we don't remember the, the exactly origin. We are we are so it's something for our 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 life that we don't we don't exactly know if it is from from our exactly roots of it it has changed. Yes, all all the story, all all the wars, everything is we're just the same side of the coin. Exactly, two sides of the same coin, but from different places. Wait. I don't know, you tell me. He's very famous in, in the study of Mexican culture. Let's go with him. Excuse me. Yes. Are you the professor Diego Rodriguez? Yes. yes why? Uh, I am a French student, uh, and I want to know about your research of Mexican culture. Uh, well, I can't tell you about my research because that's private, you know. Uh, yes. Uh, but uh, I see you're a student 
And well, uh, you know, I'm a teacher, and yes, uh, I know that people need to to enter to the college to receive my knowledge. But I will make an exception because I like to spread all all the knowledge I have about anthropology. So we can have a walk if you want. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So what do you want to know? Well, I would like to know about the infrastructure, the structure and the superstructure in Mexico. Uh, well, that is an interesting topic, you know? I mean, how the family in, in Mexico is, is composed, yes. okay? Uh, there is a lot of difference between the regions, the wealthy of the families here in Mexico. For example, in poverty, there is a, an, an excellent movie called Los Olvidados, Spanish. Um, it is very interesting how the mo the mothers don't really show like um, amability, kindness to their children. They don't really love them. And while in the wealthier families, uh, the mothers show very educational towards the, the children. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, it, like in France, you know? Um, did your parents teach you something about Mexico? Uh, yes. The customs, traditions? They taught me the day of the dead. Well, the Independence Day. Also, the most common, doesn't it? Uh, yes. For, uh, I I've seen that it is the the most known of all Mexican customs. Of course, they are like a like a symbol, a symbol from symbol. here. Yeah, and but uh, uh, Mexico uh, uh, followed the neoliberal economic system, and that made that the enterprises the companies uh, were more or less like the United States. This is an example of the structure of Mexico and also how the deficiencies of the United States have affected here uh, in, our, in our economic system, political system, or even our customs have been affected because of the, uh, of the Americans. Actually, I've seen that the, North pe the people from the North uh, in somewhat behave like the Californians, like the Texans, in, in some manners. That's very interesting. Uh, something like that happens in France on the east, that is near to Germany. There are some, some type of customs and traditions also from Germany that passes to France, thanks of the, the exchange of culture that happened in the Second World yeah, War. Yeah, uh, and now about the superstructure. Um, the Catholicism here is just extremely powerful. Yes. Uh, for example, the other the other day, uh, I saw that a lot of old men and old women went to the church. I asked one of them why so many people from the from the age go to the church while more young, while younger people don't go. Uh, it was very interesting because uh, one told me that it was because they were afraid of death. That about all the guilty things they did and they wanted to, re to redeem. To redeem. Uh, that's one of the reasons. I, I also, one told me because he simply believed too much on God and that he wanted to respect. Um, it is really interesting how the Mexicans manage the superstructure because while in France, how is it? Simple. It is very atheist. In fact, yes, uh, most because of the 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 multicultural of the country and the the migration. The revolution also. Uh, we are not very common or familiar with uh, religion. Yeah, I, I've seen that when I went to France. Really interesting.
interesting. Hey. Well, um, excuse me. In, in certain moment, you mentioned about the economics, and I it came from to my mind. What can an anthropologists do other than the academics, the academic study? Uh, well, that's also very interesting. I've seen that Mexico has a lot of problem with, with that because when we have wanted to make, uh, for example, vaccine campaigns, we have encountered the problem that many towns uh, don't really have an education, and that's really important because the anthropologists need to look for the source of that kind of mentality and try to. Uh, understand. And understand it and make the people to know why the vaccines are not bad. Mm -hmm. Understand their, their why and solve the problems we encounter. It is an example of, of how anthropology is, is made practical instead of just academic. Yes, I think it's very important. Thank you for clearing my mind. Um, no problem. Well, I need to go. Uh, I hope that you learned something. Out. Yes, uh, I did learn a lot. But thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome. Merci beaucoup. Yeah, this is going to be very good for his thesis. Thank you. You're welcome. No. Wait a minute. Didn't you have a laptop with you? Hey, you Mexican! Oh, there it is. <laughs>